story that we are tracking on Viola Dezave, the top U.S. and Chinese officials have concluded their tough talks in Alaska. The first of the talks between President Joe Biden's administration and China laid bare the depth of tensions between the world's two largest economies that also command perhaps the world's two strongest militaries as well. Now, the broad-based talks had opened with what many described as nothing short of fireworks as the top diplomats from both sides rebuked the other side. After concluding the meeting, the U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken maintained that the United States was pretty candid about its concerns over Beijing's behavior towards Hong Kong and Taiwan and also its actions in cyberspace, to which the Chinese side responded just as sharply. Nevertheless, the two sides also found some areas where the interests coincided. This included on the issues of Iran and North Korea. We certainly know and knew going in uh, that uh, there are a number of areas where we are fundamentally uh, at odds, uh, including uh, China's actions in Xinjiang uh, with regard to, uh, to Hong Kong, Tibet, uh, increasingly Taiwan. Uh, as well as um, actions that it's taking uh, in, uh, in cyberspace. And uh, it's no surprise that uh, when we raised those issues, clearly and directly, uh, we got a defensive response. But we were also able to have uh, a very candid uh, conversation uh, over, um, over these many hours on, on an expansive agenda on Iran, on North Korea, on Afghanistan, on climate, uh, our interests uh, intersect. Now, the two-day meeting in Anchorage in Alaska saw, saw Chinese top diplomat Yang Jiechi lash out at the U.S. democracy, its foreign and trade policies. The two sides also traded barbs at the public open session of the meeting. The U.S. accused the Chinese delegation of grandstanding for domestic consumption in China. Now, Beijing immediately fired back, saying that there was a strong smell of gunpowder and drama in the room. The National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan called the first talks with China as pretty tough and direct, adding that on the way forward, the United States will continue to consult with allies and with its partners. We expected to have, have tough and direct talks on a wide range of issues, and that's exactly what we had. We had the opportunity to lay out our priorities and intentions and to hear from the Chinese side their priorities and intentions. We were clear-eyed coming in, we're clear-eyed coming out, and we will go back to Washington uh, to take stock of where we are. Now, according to the Chinese state media, the top Chinese diplomat Yang Jiechi said the talks were candid, constructive and also helpful. And also, in a remark to CCTV, the Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi said that the United States should not underestimate China's determination in safeguarding its national sovereignty. Listen in. <laughs> Anchor 来处理中美关系。Now, two months into the administration of Joe Biden, the talks were set up as a sort of an exchange of views, and no agreements or pacts were expected from the meeting. The meetings were a new test in increasingly troubled relations between the two nations. 